Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wa salatu wa salam ala surafil anbiya wa mursalin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Alhamdulillah. First and foremost, let us express our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to continue our life in this blessed month of Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem. We make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma barik lana fi Ramadan wa balighna laylatul qadr. O oh Allah, please bless us in this month of Ramadan and bless us to be in the night of power. Brothers and sisters, we are now in the day 14 of Ramadan, 5th April 2023, and we are now in juice number 14. In this series of Ramadan and management, I would like to reflect Ramadan and management from the lessons that we obtained from the juice number 14, which comprise of Surah Al-Hijr, was uh, one until 99 and Surah and Nahli was one until 128. The main message that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted us to be remembered is to always stick to the divine guidance, Hidayah and Tawfiq from Allah and we have to respond to the divine messages, commandments from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah has reminded us with so many signs in this world that pointing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In this context, I would like to relate the lesson from these two uh, surahs in Jews 14 into the studies of management, which is talking about the science and art of decisions with people and through people in achieving the goals of organization with efficiency, effectiveness, and please by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the first lesson that, the first point of management that we need to always remember of Nadwa. Nadwa means a conference or meeting or town hall of people. Yeah, people must consult, people must meet, People must discuss their matters, and we cannot afford to make our decision in isolation. Number two, brothers and sisters, is about amal jamai. Amal jamai means teamwork, working together, uh, helping among us. Takmil wa istikmal. This is the nature of humans as Khalifa that Allah created humans to perform tasks in congregation or in teamwork. Number three, brothers and sisters, is about Hizba or the institutions of governance. This is very important to ensure the management functions, starting from planning, organizing, leading, and controlling, are properly monitored, evaluated, and governed for the sake of benefits of the organizations and stakeholders. More importantly, to respond to the divine guidance and also to adhere to the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The fourth point that I would like to share with all brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, in management, we have the division of work. We have, uh, we have the specialization, uh, organic design, uh, uh, span of control and whatnot. This is what I call lajna. Lajna mean we have to assign the task to the person who have the most competency and also the most integrity, which we call the Qawiyun Amin. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, with this Nadwa, Amal Jama'i, Hizba and Lajna, inshallah, we'll get blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa billahi ta'afi'u hidayah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.